Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, where I'm very happy uh, anytime we get a chance to talk about uh, being more green and uh, cutting down our carbon footprint. And the best way uh, that you can do that is to consider going solar, which is why I'm very happy to have from on top uh, solar. I've got uh, Scott Whiting here. He's the uh, co-owner. Welcome to the show. It's great Thank to you. have you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, boy, do we have lots of questions for you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of a cloudy, rainy day out there. Uh, but we don't we don't get a lot of those, so I guess it's a really good place for solar, right? It is. Um, the, one of the best things about Park City is the nice the bluebird days, nice yeah. cold, uh, sunny days produce a lot of power, uh, a lot better than the valley where we've got a lot of pollution and right. uh, uh, stormy weather. Uh, up here, it's beautiful. The snow keeps the panels clean, and yeah, and nice crisp air is great. It's kind of ideal for it. Oh yeah. Then. Yep. Have you, now, how long have you guys been uh, in business on Top Solar? Uh, we're going on our second year right now. Okay. So you've been pretty busy. Tell us a little bit about that. Give us a little history of the company and what you guys have been up to. So we we have a roofing company that's been around for going on 20 years. Okay. And uh, we wanted to branch out since we. Are doing roof systems for people we wanted right we wanted our qualified installers to also install solar uh, most companies out there do not um, have qualified roofers yeah tying in solar to their houses. to their roof right yeah I'm never a big fan of like drilling holes into something that's supposed to be uh, you know watertight right with people who don't do the roofing part don't know quite how that's supposed to work right that's kind of where it becomes kind of key to have somebody knows what they're doing with both. Yep, and that's 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 the main reason why we went into business. Uh, I don't know of any other companies out there that actually have that are a roofing company installing solar. Yeah. So that's kind of how we started. Is that was our emphasis up here? Talk about that. I mean, there's the time and a place uh, for solar, right? If your roof is wearing out, but you got five, you know, like three, four years left. Do you wait the three, four years to get solar, or do you replace your roof and you go for it? What, what's, what's the, how do you make that determination? That's a good question. So we don't go over old roofs. Yeah. That's another Yeah, big people thing do it all the time. I'm like, you got to be kidding. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, the best thing to do is to replace it. Um, the reason why there are a lot of changes happening with solar. Um, I came from Hawaii, um, and they got rid of the net meter agreement, Hawaiian Electric. And all those people that were waiting yeah. now can't do that anymore. Um, Rocky Mountain Power is making changes here Big soon. Big changes in August. Yep. They're making changes to LED retrofits. They're making changes to their solar things. Pretty much yep. anything you were getting a deal on, they're cutting it back a little, aren't right. they? Right. Yep. It'll still be great. It just, the ROI will increase a little bit, but yeah. it's, it's going to be, it'll still be worth getting, but it's better to take advantage of it now. All right. Can. Let's talk about that. What What is the process to get to, you know, the point of putting solar on your roof? Basically, one of us goes out and talks to you at your home. We look at your electrical system. We look at your roofing. Um, and then uh, we determine how many panels you need based off your electricity bill. Uh, then I, I have you sign a net meter agreement. We get that to Rocky Mountain Power so they can approve the system. Then we uh, design it, permit it, install it. It takes a month to two months. You'll be up and running. And when we talk about the Rocky Mountain part of it, how much are they typically putting towards this for, for most people as a percentage? Is there kind of a... We're, we're usually doing 100% offset, if that's what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you're offsetting your power 100%. Yep. The only right? thing you're left with is a $7 a month bill, which wow. is just a connection fee, basically. That's so, impressive. Yeah. And then as far as uh, the ROI and the investment, there is, uh, you're going to get a, a little bit from Rocky Mountain to help out with that. Is that right? So you're going you're gonna to get a 2000 state, which is changing after January. Right. And then you're going to get 30% federal. Wow. So it almost cuts it in half. That's pretty great. So you're looking at a seven to eight year ROI well, that's not on that your investment. Long. Plus, locking in solar with cash, you're going to pay about eight cents per kilowatt hour versus what you're paying now, which is average about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So, so you get a you're, reduction you're in your cost savings. immediately. Yeah. And then over time, and then after eight years, you're just making money off your system. And these systems uh, intended to last much longer than that. What's the lifetime oh, yeah. expectancy of um, this kind of equipment? Every, everything comes with a 25-year manufacturer warranty. 
um, which is awesome. Yeah. And then the panels that we use, uh, we use Solar World and LG, uh, Silfab. Um, they all are rated to 35, 40 year panels. So wow. you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of years of free power yeah, on that system. The, the hope is always that you know the next the, the, this is the last roof you buy, right? right. And the last time right. you do stuff, uh, right? Because that it. will protect the roof too. You're not you don't have any of those harsh elements on there anymore once you have the solar on there. So right. Are there are, are there situations that you know when you look at different roof types, what's the most advantageous as far as direction of the roof, the type of roofing, stuff like that? Well, up here in Park City, we have a lot of metal which yep. is great. Um, metal doesn't require any holes, any hole penetrations right. that aren't already in the metal. So we love metal roofs, um, but we've got, as, you know, as roofers, we do all types of systems. Um, we, we're looking for more of a south facing roof. Right. South, southeast, southwest, um, never north. Right, not a lot of sun up there. <laughs> <laughs> we try to avoid those ones. But when you talk about this with the metal roof, you don't have to you don't have to go into the roof at all. What do you do? You, is it clamped onto those uh -huh. ridges and things? Yep. Is that what you do? Yep. Okay. Yep. Like a standing seam roof. Yeah. It'll just clamp right on. Right, right onto them. Yep. So there's no penetrations. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got a metal roof, this is right in your you know your uh, wheelhouse. Yeah. That asphalt's the asphalt is fine too. It will never leak. It, the the mounts we install underneath the shingles, you've got like four different layers of of ceiling. So, the chances of them leaking by a qualified installer is not going to happen. But so. that's the whole point. We keep getting back to right qualified installer. Somebody yes. knows what they're doing at the roof. Key roofs, key keyword. Not yep. just solar. Exactly. Uh, and then the process of getting it done. You said you you basically we call you up. You come out. We get an assessment. We have to give you some of our information about Rocky Mountain, right? That's important, mm -hmm. right? And then you guys proceed with getting us uh, a quote. Yep, we process everything. We take care of all the costs. There's, there's no, nothing, no surprises. Install time, typically. Install, it'll, it'll. We'd have it up in a month to two months, depending on HOA and. Uh, the city, our, our city here is fast. Are Park there, City and Summit are very. Fast. Are there HOAs that don't allow this? Um, I think there's a couple, but we're working with them. Um, uh, once we do a presentation with an HOA and we get the residents on board, there usually isn't a big struggle to get it. Excellent. Because it looks good once you get it up. It, For sure. People have in their mind the, the blue panels with the aluminum frames. Right. We don't use those. It's yeah, all black, black on black. Yeah. And exactly. it looks awesome. All right, Scott, last question. Uh, are you excited about the, the Tesla roofs? Is that something in the future? Are you, are you guys looking to do those those types of roofing? It would, it would be great. Yeah. Um, as roofers, we'd love to get the chance. We're just waiting for that to happen. It would be an exciting time. Know. Yeah. yeah. Well, certainly uh, as we get uh, towards these uh, additions that, that do make us all greener and uh, produce energy mm -hmm. from that unending energy source that we have right above us is pretty it's a pretty exciting time to be in the business oh yeah that's great how do people get in touch with you uh, they can call our number they can get on our website our website will direct you fill out the information uh, and it'll go directly to us there you go there's the website on the screen right now on top solar and electric dot com and uh, thanks, Scott, for yeah. coming and spending a little time with us. I appreciate, appreciate it. it, Scott Whiting. It's on Top Solar. You can cut down your carbon footprint. You can save some money, and I mean a lot of it. And, of course, uh, you're doing good by the environment and uh, yourself by getting solar on your roof. We've got a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show, including coming up, ski jumpers. The Fletcher brothers are here. We'll be back right after that.